Hello students, this is your social teacher Tirupati Nayak Malo. As you know that we are in the 18th lesson. In our previous session we have discussed that about coalition politics. Coalition politics. 1989, 1989 coalition. In our previous session we have discussed about coalition government. What is the mean of the coalition? Coalition means you have to understand all non-congress all non-congress parties they came together finally they formed a party which is called as Janata Dal which is called as Janata Dal like yesterday in our previous session we discussed that some parties all non-congress parties XYZ parties they came for their own benefits for their own benefit their main aim is they want to defeat congress party they, they doesn't want to give power to the congress party hence all the non-congress parties they came together and they formed a coalition this coalition is called as Janata Dal it is Janata Dal Janata Dal Prime Minister Janata Dal Government Prime Minister is Mr. V.P. Singh Mr. V.P. Singh Vishwanath Pratap Singh Vishwanath Pratap Singh so due to this coalition let us see the demerits let us see the demerits. What are the demerits of the coalition government? Initial days, initial, in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning, these coalition governments were not strong. Initial days, these coalition governments were not strong. Mostly, central government became sensitive. First one. Central government became became sensitive. Yeah. Why they became sensitive? Because if they will take any decision that may not liked by the other parties, they have to withdraw their decision. Example A, B, C, D, E. These all are the members of the Janata Dal. If government wanted to take any decision, if any among these four or five members, they may not like the government decision, they may withdraw their support. They may withdraw their support. Whenever they withdraw their support, the government will be collapsed. Government will be collapsed. Next. Even small parties, even small parties, sometimes two, three members parties, small parties also try to gain control. Also try to gain control yeah. small parties also try to gain control for what there is a threat threat of withdrawal of withdrawal of support yeah they are threatening that they are threatening that yeah they are withdrawal for threat for withdrawal of support they are threatening the parties, coalition party, they are threatening to the Prime Minister if he didn't listen to them, they may withdraw their support. They may withdraw their support. support. So because of that, sometimes the Prime Minister doesn't have any powers. So this is caused. This is caused. This is caused. Policy paralysis. Policy paralysis. Very, very important. What is policy paralysis? Policy paralysis usually happen due to the coalition government. This coalition government will be threatened to the government if the government didn't listen to them. Even small parties also, they, they pressurize the government to listen themselves. Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 members of formed a government, they have their own benefits and own perception they have. If Prime Minister will not listen to them, they will be withdraw the support. What will happen when they will withdraw the support? The government will fail. So this is called as policy paralysis. Policy paralysis will be happen due to the fear of withdrawal. Fear, fear of withdrawal of the support by any other of this. Fear of withdrawal. You can write. Fear of withdrawal of support. Yeah. Fear of withdrawal of support. Because due to this, Due to this, government couldn't 
different implements. Government couldn't implement policies. Policies. If government wanted to launch one law or government wanted to make one law, government wanted to implement certain policies. If the policy will be not accepted by these members, government cannot go. Because if government can go, what will happen? This government will be collapsed. These people may withdraw their government. These people may withdraw their government. Let us see the example. In early days, in the beginning, in the beginning, these members are after the formation of the government. After the formation of the government, these members are fighting with each other. Again, what was happened during 1977, Murarji Desai? During Murarji Desai government, these people have fought. Again, in the VP Singh government also, these people are fighting with each other. Due to this collapse of the government, VP Singh government, government fell, collapsed, collapsed. Then, one of the person from this government, Chandra Shekhar, Chandra Shekhar became PM. Yeah, Chandra Shekhar, Chandra Shekhar was became a PM. Chandra Shekhar was, he withdrew the support to VP Singh. Chandra Shekhar was, withdrew the support to VP Singh, then he became PM. Congress was supported there because Congress didn't like VP Singh government. Congress is waiting for the situation when the people will come out. Some of the people came out from the Janata Dal. Among one is Chandra Shekhar. Chandra Shekhar came out from the Janata Dal and with the help of with the help of his supporters, with the help of Congress party. I repeat, with the help of some of, some of the members of the Janata Dal party, some of the members of Congress party, Chandrasekhar became Prime Minister. Okay, whenever Chandrasekhar became uh, Prime Minister, then again Congress withdraw the support. Congress withdraw the support. Chandrasekhar government also fell. His government also fell. His Chandrasekhar government also fell. It was reached for fresh elections. Again, what? Fresh elections. Fresh elections. Oh, so I want to repeat to you that VP Singh government then the other. So during the during VP Singh government, policy paralysis what happened? Policy paralysis means what? Government did not, couldn't implement any policies. Why government couldn't implement the policies? If government implement any policy, any of the, these coalition members may be aggressive of that. So if VP Singh government go aggressive of these coalition members, that coalition members may withdraw the support. What will happen withdraw the support? Government will be failed. So government was collapsed. After the VP Singh government, collapsation of the VP Singh government, one of the member, Chandra Shekhar, Chandra Shekhar from Janata Dal, Chandra Shekhar from Janata Dal, Chandra Shekhar came out from the Janata Dal and along with some of the other members, Chandra Shekhar plus other members of the Janata Dal plus Congress party, some of the Congress party MPs supported Chandra Shekhar, then Chandra Shekhar became, Chandra Shekhar became Prime Minister. But later, Congress Congress withdrew the support, then again it leads to fresh elections. Again it leads to fresh elections. So here 1991 elections. Here 1991 elections. In the 1991 elections, you have to remember that during the election campaign, during the election campaign for 1991 elections, 21st May, 21st May 1991, Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated. Rajiv Gandhi. Okay? Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated 21st May 1991 because he is in the election campaign at the time. He is in the election campaign at the time in the 1991 elections in Sri Parambuduru in Tamil Nadu. Sri Parambuduru, LTTE terrorists were, okay, uh, FIDA is, suicide squads were, you no, know, if they were attacked him and finally Rajiv Gandhi was assassinated by LTTE. So this is the, this is the discussion about the early Early coalition governments. This is the situation of the early coalition government. Whenever the coalition government was started in the beginning days, so this was happened. This was happened. Then let us see now what what will be there. What will be there? So what we understand? Early coalition were instable. Didn't implement their policies. Did not last their full term. Isn't it? I repeat. I repeat. Early coalition were early coalition governments were instable. 
did not last their full term did not last their full term before of the five years collapsed before of the five years collapsed this is about every coalition in the beginning days of the coalition government these things were happened let us see nowadays coalition government now coalition governments so later coalition governments Yeah, later coalition governments. Party policies, party programs may be changed. Okay. Example I want to tell you. In one elections, one party may be support to you. In another another time elections, that party may support other person. Example, in 2019 elections, in 2019 elections, BJP plus Shiv Sena. BJP plus Shiv Sena. These both are jointly contested in Maharashtra elections. In Maharashtra elections, so the Shiva Sena BJP they could form the government. Shiva Sena asked that two and a half years CM, two and a half CM, two and a half years, two and a half years. We will share the CM two and a half years, two and a half years. So BJP not accepted this. BJP was not accepted. When BJP was not accepted, Shiva Sena came out from the BJP. Sivasena plus Congress, Sivasena plus Congress, Sivasena plus other party. That means National People Congress, National People Congress. It is one of the coalition, one of the allied, allied of the Congress. These both parties, yeah. This NPC gave support to Sivasena. Now Sivasena party, Uddhav Thakre, okay. Uddhav Thakre from Sivasena, he became a CM of Maharashtra. So what did you understand from this example? Political parties may be change their stance any time. Once upon a time, BJP is there close to BJP, but now BJP became a rivalry. Rival. Now, once upon a time, NPC was a rival, but now they made friendship with the NCP, NPC party, National People's Congress. So it may be various. How how this this friendship may occur? How this friendship may be fulfilled? What what are the reasons? How can be possible? Later coalition governments were they can go for common agreement program, common common agreement program. Yeah, common agreement program. Example, Shiva Sena NPC. These both are joining so that NPC they ask you Shiva Sena yes what you will do for the Maharashtra. You do Maharashtra, but you don't do these these things. Certain things you you should not do because that is against our party policy. I repeat. NPC urging to Shiva Sena that okay we will support to you, but you should not do that work. Which work? So and so, so and so work. Whatever the work will be, tell by this NPC that should not touch. So that common agreement program. Yes, we both we both collide. We both come together. We both make friendship, and we have to make common agreement program. We both the program whatever you do that should not hurt to the NPC that should not hurt to you. Understanding common agreement program. This both will be come under common agreement program. And there is a coordination committee will be there. Coordination committee. Coordination committees. Yeah. Coordination committees will be there. So this coordination committee will decide what should we do. What what are the do's and what are the don'ts. For example, NPC gave support to Shiv Sena. If Shiv Sena will do against of the NPC, what will happen? This NPC will withdraw the support. Whenever NPC withdraw the support, Shiv Sena may fall. So that one coordination committee will be there. What are the do's and what are the do? What are the don'ts to bring out get this coordination committees or you know these are the committees which can be bring out greater understanding among the partners. Greater. Understanding, yeah, among the partners because partnership is very important. If any or any one of the partner will be felt bad, it will be divorce or it will be we can say that collapse of the government. So this kind of the common agreement program nowadays these are nowadays nowadays this kind of coalition government is going on nowadays common agreement program will be they declared. And a coordination committee will be set up for the greater understanding among the partners. Example, BJP. Let's see BJP partners. 
Now, now BJP government is we call as NDA government. NDA. NDA means National Democratic Alliance. I repeat, BJP government is also called as India government because BJP and BJP partners, BJP party and other party partnership, BJP party and BJP other friends are formed as NDA, National Democratic Alliance. I repeat, National Democratic Alliance. Okay. Next up, Congress. Let us see the Congress. Congress, Congress party is allied. Congress party and Congress party friends they formed a party is called as United Progressive Alliances. United Progressive Alliances. I repeat, United Progressive Alliances. Nowadays, nowadays, all governments are coalition government. There is no single party cannot form a government nowadays because all parties are having less seats they are winning. Moreover, regional parties are winning most of the seats. Hence, you know, regional parties will support to the which regional parties will support to which parties that party may be coming to the coming to the power. So that's what. Major importance for the common agreement program is required. Coordination committees are required. Example, one more example we'll see. Yeah, one more example we'll see. For example, TRS is there. TRS. If TRS support to the NDA, if example, if support NDA, this NDA will be treat them very good. NDA, this NDA government will appoint one of the member to one of the member into uh, as secretary or home minister or any of the minister, they may give importance to the, these parties. Example, NDA party is there. This NDA party having four or five friends. Four or five friends are there. So one ministry will be given to this party. Second minister post will be given to this party. Fourth, third minister post will be given to them. Fourth minister post will be given to them. Fifth minister party will be given to them. So the power also shared among them. The power also shared among them. So these are the present scenario of coalition government. Present uh, scenario of the coalition government. You understand that early coalition governments were these these were not ruled full term. Okay, early coalitions were instable, did not last for their full terms. But this time little bit very strong because of the these programs, common agreement program among the parties, coordination committees among to the parties because. To for the greater understanding among the partners leads to stability of the government nowadays. Okay, this is about coalition era. You have to remember the word policy paralysis. Policy paralysis means it is paralysis. Prime minister can't do any work because if prime minister will do certain work, the other partners may not like. So that nothing development has done during coalition government usually the politicians say. Next, left friend parties. Left friend parties. Yeah, what are left friend? Left friend parties. There are usually centrist, rightist, leftist parties will be there. So simple leftist parties means their ideology is different to the other parties. Their ideology is different to the other parties. They mostly believe in the communism. They mostly believe in the socialism, extreme socialism, not socialism, extreme socialism. I repeat, most of the leftists, most of the leftists were they believed in the communism, they greatly believed in the socialism, extreme socialism. So those who are believed in the extreme socialism, these were called as leftist parties. Okay, what are the leftist parties? CPI, CPM, CPIM, actually CPM means CPIM, CPIM. Forward bow block, forward block, revolutionary parties, revolutionaries, socialists. Okay, socialists. Yeah. These are these are these ideologies are different. Okay. CPA, CPM, forward block, revolutionary, socialist parties are usually called as left friend parties. About this one parties. 1977. In 1977, in 1977, one party, CPM, okay, CPM party, CPM party, which was, you know, came into power in West Bengal. In West Bengal. In West Bengal, this party came into power. CPM party came into power in West Bengal. They gave the slogan, the slogan of the party, they gave the slogan that land to the tiller. Land to the pillar. 
those who are tilling the land those who are tilling the land the land should be transferred to the actual tiller not to the owner huge land is there this was huge land is there but in this land this is a land owner's land landlord's land in this land so many people are working in this land so they are the actual tillers hence you know cpi cpi or they wanted to give they wanted to give this lands to the actual tillers land to the actual tillers then the slogan they gave that land to the tillers land to the tillers these were implemented the land reforms they implemented the land reforms very very properly west west bengal only the state which they implemented land reforms perfectly in india yeah among to implement the land reforms properly they launched operation bharga launched operation bharga you know that operation bharga in our previous lesson also we discussed about operation bharga bharga das bharga das means you know share crops those who are taking land from the rent for the share cropping purpose if they take land they will give 50 50 50% to the owner 50% to the share cropper those who are did the agriculture so they launched operation bharga according to what is operation bharga operation bharga means to record to record the name of share croppers to record to record the share croppers of share croppers yeah to record the share croppers to record the share croppers names yeah where you have to record example this land is there yeah one person is working here one person is working here this member a owner he is a owner here he is a owner this person is giving him to 10 quintals or 10 quintals of paddy example 10 quintals of paddy and another member came another member came to the owner he told to that i will give 15 quintals of rice to you if you give land to me i will give to you 15 quintals of the rice to you then what the owner will do owner will be remove him and he will appoint here this owner will be owner will be appointed so that most of the share croppers were temporarily temporary in west bengal because it depend upon the owner it depends upon the owner so that share croppers these bangladas those who are doing those who are tilling the land on the share these are also called as share croppers in bengali language it is called as bangladas so whenever this government came into power they were strictly implemented this love operation bharga they strictly implemented to the names of the share croppers example for example this is a land one member was appointed by the government the share cropper never removed the government fixed that yes he the person will do the agriculture in the land that name is fixed nobody can remove him nobody unofficially nobody will be removed them then finally what the government did avoided bureaucratic delays to implement reforms the yeah, to implement reforms avoided bureaucratic delays yeah usually what happen you know the government works most of the government works here it will run delays okay and uh, domination of the uh, classes some of the people they may dominate whenever the officers come whenever the officers come they will give land to them whenever the officers will gone they may not return to the they may not return to the lands to the poor people hence you know the land owning classes were removed those who are land owning classes were there this land owning classes were removed next step officials officials held meetings in villages officials held meetings meetings in villages officers were appointed to implement this land reforms all the officers they toured villages they went to every village and they recorded the names of the share cropper yes you are belongs to which village yeah i am belongs to this so and so and so village you are doing agriculture there i am doing agriculture in this land so the land was recorded on the share cropper name okay the land the landlords were and moreover landlords were prevented landlords were prevented to enter landlords were prevented sometimes landlords also will be prevented landlords wanted to 
inculcated in this activity so the government was prevented landlords and forced government also warned them government warned to the landlords to that no forcibly removing of bargadars no need to remove any bargadars because these bargadars were appointed secured by the government these bargadars were secured by the government now no landlord will be remove them so that due to this and moreover moreover share crop also share crop also also increased by the government increased by the government previously what happened you know 25% of the share will be goes to the goes to the killer those who did agriculture for them 25% only those who are having land for them 75 only it is not correct those did hard work he gets you know 25% of the share of the crop but those land owner he will get 70% of the land 70% of the crop so it was reversed it was reversed according to their inputs how much bargadar estimated how much bargadar what is the expenditure of the bargadar what is the expenditure of the landlord among that one they gave more priority highest share crop was also given to the bargadars highest share crop was given to the bargadars so much of the members much of the members of west bengal were very happy due to this land reforms implemented by the cpm party implemented by the cpm party not only that but also they gave proper good share crop good share to the bargadars were gave mostly 30% 30% of the agriculture after the 30% of the agriculture agriculture increased yeah was that why agriculture will be increased example you are a you are a tenant you are working in a this agriculture land this agriculture land it depends upon rainfall if you wanted to dug one one well okay you don't know that when the owner will be removed and he may appoint any other so that the farmers they did not go for the development of the irrigation network now now the bargadars were not removed by the landlords isn't it now no bargadars will be throwing off by the owners hence you know 30% of the agriculture agriculture area agriculture increased poverty declined poverty declined okay poverty decreased some of the criticism also there some of the members says that cpm government they did not implement properly land land reforms they would have to implement more stricter way more proper way some of the member they said but whatever it is while compared to the all other states cpm this uh, cpm party it was very wonderful fantastically implement the implemented the land reforms most of the down trodden were benefited most of the agrarian community agrarian means majority of the people in west bengal they depends upon agriculture they were benefited due to that from 1977 to 2006 no party won in west bengal except uh, except to cpim this party 26 years i think more than 20 years more than 20 years jyoti basu jyoti basu was the the first longest cm jyoti basu jyoti basu from cpi communist party from left friend he became this party was this party was till ruled in uh, till 2006 1977 to 2006 this party was completely came into power in west bengal okay now west bengal now government is uh, trinamool congress tmc trinamool congress operation barga implemented and panchayati raj was implemented and properly implemented by the cpi party in west bengal so due to that people they cast their vote to the cpi parties the cpi parties were written for many maximum years and jyoti basu was that time it was the longest cm those times next example uh, just now i said tmc congress imc congress once upon a time mamata banerjee mamata banerjee mamata banerjee was member of the congress party Mamata Banerjee was the staunch supporter of Sonia Gandhi, staunch supporter of Congress Party. But Mamata Banerjee did not like certain principles of the Congress, certain policies of the Congress. She came out from the Congress. She came out from the Congress. She established another party, which is called as TMC, Trinamool Congress. TMC, it is Trinamool Congress. 
So they may come out and you may establish another party also. Next. Let us discuss Mandal Commission reforms. Mandal Commission. Sir, what is Mandal Commission? Yeah, what is Mandal Commission? Usually, yeah, National Front Government. National Front. National Front means National Front means Janata Dal. Yeah, National Front means Janata Dal. Janata Dal government wanted to implement Mandal Commission reforms. What is Mandal Commission? Actually, in 1980, in 1980, BP Mandal, BP Mandal committee was set up. Committee was set up for the OBC reservations. For the OBC reservations. OBC means you know that other backward caste, BC caste, other backward caste. So this BP Mandal Committee, committee was set up in those times, but nobody implemented. VP Singh, VP Singh wants to implement implement its recommendations. Yeah. VP Singh government wanted to implement recommendations. What are the recommendations? What BP Mandal Commission was suggested? Mandal Committee suggested that Mandal Committee suggested that 27% of the reservations for the OBCs 27% of the reservations for the OBCs where these reservations will be applicable these reservations will be applicable in the educational okay and uh, employment especially educational employment and political it will be applicable in educational educational employment and political this political political yeah, in educational employment in political these 27 percentage of the reservations will be allotted for the OBCs that was a decision took by VP Singh whenever this decision was took there was a protest protest against this decision protest against VP Singh yeah, protest against VP Singh was started especially in the North India Especially in the North India, so many people they did not like VP Singh. No, it is not correct. It is not correct. Especially OCs. Especially OC caste, they did most of the protests, they did lot of the lot of things and they opposed, they opposed this VP Singh. Some of the parties, see the, the party's attitude. We have to identify here party's attitude. Opposition parties. Opposition parties didn't, oppo didn't oppose openly because, because they may become unpopular. Yeah, see, you understand what the character of the political parties. Opposition party did not oppose openly openly because they may they may become unpopular for example congress party is there congress party also doesn't like vpc government recommendations 27 percent of the recommendations if they say that we doesn't want these recommendations we say down down no need to implement it is not correct they say they may become unpopular among to the obcs because they want votes if they say it is not correct obc may obc may not cast the vote to the elections in the next elections so that some of the parties were silent they silently behaved because they may become unpopular in front of the people so that certain people were completely you know this uh, about this information it is not given textbook let us discuss yeah this case was reached to the supreme court this case was reached to the supreme court it was called as 1992 in indira sahani case it was also called as 1992 indira sahani case Indira Sahani case. Indira Sahani case versus Union of India. 
Indira Sahani case versus Union of India. Indira Sahani case and Union uh, Union of India. In this case, court gave judgment that yes, OBC reservations can be implemented, but OBC reservations will be implemented only for okay only for non creamy layer. Non creamy layer. Sir, so what does this non creamy layer? That you might have know that creamy means rich people. Creamy means rich people. Non creamy means poor people. There is certain criteria was given. Six lakhs or eight lakhs annual income is there. From that above income, more than the eight lakhs income, you you will become under. Uh, you will become creamy creamy group. Below uh, eight to six lakhs, you know, it can be called as non creamy layer. Below six lakhs or below eight lakhs. But the criteria is there. So that criteria, those are non creamy layer. Those people annual income is less than the eight lakhs. That people can comes under non creamy layer. Those people annual income is more than more than eight lakhs. That people can be become creamy layer. So this twenty seven percent of the reservations will be implemented only for the poor of the OBCs. Poor of the OBCs. So this is called as Indira Sahani case, BP Mandal Commission, Bindeshwari Patak. BP means Bindeshwari Patak Commission, Bindeshwari Patak Commission. So this is about one of the Uh, greatest uh, struggle, greatest incident during VP Singh government. During VP Singh government. Next up, VP Singh government was failed. We discussed VP Singh government was failed. Then Chandrasekhar came out from the Janata Dal. Chandrasekhar became Prime Minister. Congress withdrew the support. Then Congress government also failed. VP Singh Chandrasekhar government also failed. Again elections were held. In these elections, Rajiv Gandhi was died, isn't it? Next up. Yeah, Janata Dal usually, you know, they focus inclusive development. I repeat, Janata Dal party they focus mostly for the inclusive development because ensure uh, ensure the reservations for the OBCs purpose they 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 were made because Janata Dal ideology is different. Janata Dal ideology is different. Whenever Janata Dal was doing this this kind of things, certain parties, BSP party started, Bahujan Samajwadi party. These are this is about the Dalits. This party is Dalits. We want our rights. So Dalits established BSP parties, OBCs, other BC castes, other BCs established Samajwadi party, especially Yadav. The BSP party head is Mayawati. Example Mayawati. This is about this is about Dalits. SP Samajwadi party. This is OBCs. Example this is Mulayam Singh Yadav. Akhilesh Yadav about BCs, BC cast. Okay, Bahujan Samajwadi Party, Samajwadi Party, Yadav's parties, Jharts. These all are separate separate parties were set up during that period only. Separate separate parties. Dalit were set up separate parties. Sa and uh, OBCs were set up separate parties. Separate people were set up separate parties. Next, let us see religion issues. Religion issues. religion issues yeah religion issues you know that religion issues let us see about the bjp first bjp bharatiya janata party bjp bharatiya janata party bjp in 1984 bjp have only two seats bjp won only two seats in 1984 okay what does the bjp believes in what bjp believes bjp believes that okay bjp believes that i believe that ideas of democracy ideas of democracy and secularism and secularism or western ideas these are western ideas they believe what bjp believes that ideas of democracy and secularism are western ideas we should avoid We should avoid that. So we should avoid the certain Western ideas, not complete Western ideas. Certain Western ideas and adopt and adopt Indian culture and adopt Indian culture. So this is the main thing. This is the main Indian culture. They also believe that in the name of secularism, there is no special privileges need to be given to the minorities. They also say that. In the name of secularism, 
in the name of secularism no special privileges no special privileges for the minorities for the minorities this they wanted union civil code ucc union civil code all laws laws are equal to all that is for the muslim christian buddhist sikh hindu whoever it is we need to adopt a universal law okay union civil code union civil code because certain minorities were having separate different codes in their islamic laws certain other religious persons having different laws as per their religion but what bjp says you know we are giving more privileges to the minorities in the name of secularism that is not a secularism the bjp claims what bjp claims is you know in the name of secularism we are giving more and more freedom more and more privileges to the minorities that is not a secularism because we have to adopt a union civil common code for all for all common code those people are living in india those people are living in india for all members same code will be there same law will be there same law we have to follow so for that bjp is fighting for that bjp is fighting at the same time bjp also against bjp is against theocratic bjp also against theocratic 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 means few people they believed that bjp is hindutva they believed in the hindutva but they not believe completely in extreme example bjp believed in hindutva but bjp was bjp wanted the restoration of the hindutva but at the same time bjp also protect the minorities bjp also protect the privileges of the minorities so that also we have to remember next these are the doesn't like the theocratic theocratic means uh, especially to give importance to the one religion okay so they also address of the theocratic this bjp government once upon a time 184 seats are there but how suddenly bjp came into popular why how what circumstances led bjp became popular you see 1984 only two seats bjp had only two seats in 1982 suddenly one incident was changed to complete the scenario of the bjp that is 1990 lk adwani's rath yatra in 1990 lk adwani in 1990 lk adwani started started rath yatra he started on a rath yatra 1990 L K Adwani, Lal Krishna Adwani, he started one Rath Yatra from Gujarat, Somnath Temple to Ayodhya. From Somnath Temple, from Somnath Temple to Ayodhya, Ayodhya, demanding for, demanding for building of Lord Rama Temple, Lord Rama Temple. in ayodhya in ayodhya we already know that there was a babri masjid was there babri masjid some of the hindu people they believed that babri masjid was constructed whenever the babri masjid was constructed before that before babri masjid there was a hindu temple was there that was the birthplace of lord rama that was the birthplace of the lord rama and uh, those rajas those kings were attacked on the Lord Rama Temple. Lord Rama Temple was destroyed, and after the destroy, after the destruction of the Lord Rama Temple, Babri Masjid was constructed. So that these members are organizing. The LK Adwani BJP members claiming that we have to build the Lord Rama Temple in the place of Babri Masjid. In the place of Babri Masjid. Finally, this yatra, this yatra ended. This yatra ended in Bihar. This, this yatra ended in Bihar. it was became very famous and many people were attracted to us to hinduism because majority people hindu are there so these all rath yatra these all things you know bjp became very popular and 1992 in 1992 december 6 there was a demolition of the babri masjid babri masjid was demolished babri masjid demolished by some of the members yeah demolished babri masjid was demolished 
1992 December 6 Babri Masjid was demolished and again this case was filed in Supreme Court recently Ranjan Gogoi recently Ranjan Gogoi he gave a verdict that the Babri Masjid place mosque was given to the given for the purpose of construction of Lord Rama temple okay based on the historical evidences based on the archaeological evidences and for the Babri Masjid for the construction of new Babri Masjid for the construction of new Masjid Five acres of the new land was also allotted to the Muslim communities. Some of the members welcomed, some of the members were not. Okay, so these were the things were happened. So due to these circumstances, BJP was came into power. This Ratiyatla became very famous. This Babri Masjid incident also came became very famous. So due to that, it raised its strength in upcoming elections. In upcoming elections, you know, it was raised its strength slowly, slowly. It got power. It got power, came into power in the state, finally it came into power in the centres also. Let us see, 1991, 1991, Rajiv Gandhi, Rajiv Gandhi assassinated, okay, Rajiv Gandhi assassinated. When Rajiv Gandhi assassinated, Congress got sympathy. Are you, Rajiv Gandhi was died, he was such a great person. Did you remember when Indira Gandhi was died, there was a sympathy. Again, Congress became came to power. Here also, Congress came into power. In 1992, in 1991 elections, in 1991, before, uh, yeah, 1991 elections, 1991, VP Singh, VP Singh, VP Singh after Chandrasekhar, okay, Chandrasekhar after elections, Chandrasekhar after elections, in these elections, Congress party came into power. 1991 elections, Congress back to power. Congress back to power in 1992. Yeah. 1992, Congress back to power. Yeah, Congress back to power, but there was no other person to rule. There is no strong person to rule because Rajiv Gandhi was strong Congress leader. He was right. Then, first Prime Minister from South India. Ex Chief Minister from Andhra Pradesh, P. V. Narsimhara, Pamala Parthi Venkat Narsimhara. Yeah, Pamala Parthi Venkat Narsimhara appointed, became a Prime Minister. There was no major strength. Congress party don't have a lot of majority, but it, is, it was in the minority. Congress party won highest seats, but full majority is not there for Congress party. Then P. V. Narsimhara was became Prime Minister. P. V. Narsimhara became Prime Minister. He was led the minority government. Minority means they are a little bit less seats, but also he was completed the government. Full term, uh, Congress party ruled. P. V. Narsimhara took certain steps because due to this coalition government, due to that time circumstances, Indian economic status was very bad. Indian economic status was very critical conditions. India unable to pay money to the loans whatever we took from the other countries. India have to pay certain loans to the other countries, but we don't have money to pay. So there was completely, you know, it was neck of the moment. On the neck of the moment, PV Narsimara government took liberalization policies. PV Narsimara government took certain steps for the economic development. For the economic development. I repeat, when PV government, when PV Narsimara became a prime minister, our economic conditions were very bad. We took so many loans, we have to pay to the other countries, we don't have money. Our money was exhausted. Our money was exhausted, we don't have any money, so that PV Narsimara government adopted certain liberalization policies, they adopted international monetary fund policies. International Monetary Fund, IMF, World Bank, it also called as World Bank. International Monetary Fund Policies, India adopted. India adopted International Monetary Fund Policies, we adopted. It can be called as Structural Agreement, Structural Adjustment Program. It also called as Structural Adjustment Structural Adjustment program. Yeah, structural adjustment program. It was called as INS policies we adopted. Thus, that policies also we called as structural adjustment program. We have to adjust in a little time. Okay. We want loans. Now at the time we want loans. We order we begged to the International Monetary Fund. So when an international monetary fund, that means World Bank. World Bank is ready to give us money, but we have to follow their rules and regulations. Because 
if we didn't follow rules and regulations our business will fall and we should we could not be unable to pay money to the world bank hence the world bank believed that the world bank believed that you have to follow certain rules and regulations and that policy is also called as imf stint conditions stint conditions on india we have to follow stint conditions condition stint conditions we have to follow okay this stint yeah these conditions we have to follow according to these conditions number one according to this condition first one is reduction of reduction of government expenditure it's very important reduction of government expenditure the yeah, government have to reduce their expenditure government have to uh, reduce their expenditure where expenditure and cut in subsidies yeah cut in subsidies we have to cut our subsidies and we have to cut our money which we spend on the health health and education and we can also say that public services public services i am requested that do not spend more money on the subsidies health and public services that they requested second one second one reduce reducing the restrictions on the imports reducing reduce restrictions restrictions on imports and uh, foreign investments foreign investment still pv narsimha rao government before 1990 before 1991 in india before 1991 in india no other foreign goods are not available only made in india goods are available very rarely some of the members who will take uh, who will take certain goods that only available in india but after 1991 because india accepted the foreign goods also in india india also accepted the foreign goods goods to come in into india and india also accepted the foreign investment foreign companies also came to india foreign companies also came to india third one it was opening of many sectors of economy opening of many sectors sectors in the economy in the economy especially like like telecommunication telecommunication we made in the private banking we made in the private transport airline airline we made in the private we accepted foreign we accepted foreign companies in the airline we accepted foreign companies in the banking we accepted foreign companies in the telecom example vodafone haj docomo these are the, these are the foreign companies banks yes bank okay uh, sandy charter bank rbs bank these banks are foreign banks so we are accepted foreign investment foreign banks foreign imports also in india at the same time we also exported exported to our products to other countries so this is our lesson let us see one the sequence of the chief ministers in india sorry prime ministers in india let us see chief ministers in india you know that because they may ask first one is jawahar lal nehru jawahar lal nehru jawahar lal nehru after Bulzari Lal Nanda, G L Nanda, G L Nanda is temporary. Second, second, Lal Bahu, L P Sastri. I read shortcut, L P Sastri. L P Sastri was died. Then again, G L Nanda became temporary. G L Nanda became temporary. Okay. After G L Nanda, third one, Indira Gandhi. Third one, Indira Gandhi. Okay. Indira Gandhi after Indira Gandhi after Morarji Desai Morarji Desai Morarji Desai Morarji Desai Morarji Desai after Yeah after Charan Singh Morarji Desai after Charan Singh Charan Singh after again Indira Gandhi Charan Singh after again Indira Gandhi Morarji Desai Charan Singh Charan Singh under these three governments you know neelam sanjeev reddy was the president that also we 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 learned indira gandhi was assassinated then again rajiv gandhi rajiv gandhi rajiv gandhi after 
राजीव गांधी आफ्टर बीपी सिंह ओके बीपी सिंह बीपी सिंह आफ्टर चंद्रशेखर बीपी सिंह आफ्टर चंद्रशेखर चंद्रशेखर आफ्टर चंद्रशेखर आफ्टर पी वी नरसिम्हा राव पी वी नरसिम्हा राव पी वी नरसिम्हा राव आफ्टर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी अटल नरसिंह नरसिम्हा राव नरसिम्हा राव अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी आफ्टर देवे गौड़ा एच डी देवे गौड़ा एच डी देवे गौड़ा एच डी देवे गौड़ा आफ्टर आई के गुजराल आई के गुजराल आई के गुजराल आफ्टर अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी अगेन अगेन अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी अटल बिहारी वाजपेयी आफ्टर मनमोहन सिंह ओके मनमोहन सिंह मनमोहन सिंह आफ्टर नाउ प्रेजेंट नरेंद्र मोदी नरेंद्र मोदी बिकॉज चिल्ड्रन सो दिस इज द सीक्वेंस ऑफ द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ इंडिया यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड वेरी प्रॉपरली ओके दिस दिस आर द सीक्वेंस दे आल्सो दे गिवन द फोटो स्टैट्स इन द टेक्स्ट बुक लेसंस थैंक यू दिस वी कंप्लीटेड दिस लेसन सक्सेसफुली थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच